Welcome back again. This is Fox, the next installment in our Anno 1800 Let's Play. Alright, it's been a while since I've posted anything. Main reason being we've had loads of bugs and stuff affecting my gameplay. Uh, I've been doing what I can as and when I can. Uh, the latest bug that has now been fixed was the inability to see how much consumption your shopping arcades were using and also how much gas your gas mines or your your oil mines were producing so I spent the last few weeks literally just blueprinting a load of islands getting them ready and in the last couple of days I've done a big jump you can see where we are now it's a surprise inspection six million three hundred twenty nine thousand so we have officially broke the last record onwards and upwards nine million just about in reach we may be eight million eight hundred thousand or something but we're going to talk about that in another video for now i just wanted to go over my cognac island again this has evolved over time the main thing that you can see now is these 250 something bakeries on this island 272 bakeries on this island making me grapes the reason i decided to go down this route in the end was after speaking to people on my discords Join the Discord, by the way, if you haven't already. We have great discussions over there. Me and Maxim were always finding the best way to do things. Uh, to put it in a nutshell, this space here was making me a hundred grapes the traditional way through vines, vineyards. Sorry, we are now making 152, so we're half as many grapes again in the same space. Now, believe me when I say this is a huge pain in the ass. The amount of grain this thing, these bakeries are consuming, is ridiculous. I'm importing it from. Well, we can see how many islands I'm importing it in. Created a special trade group for this. Called Cognac Grain. We are trading 910 grain a minute through Docklands. Now, you can accumulate... Well, the amount it's going to be is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be about 50,000 grain or something that we've got to transport around in this time frame between trades. So... I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six islands trading the grain. Most of them are the medium islands you can see. And then there is some coming from the new world that's being made as byproducts from our bananas, plantains. So yeah, how do we do this? We don't need windmills. Obviously, we are using this item. The baker is a common item. It replaces the input. Instead of flour, the building process is grain. Uh, we've got these on this island. The palace policy is minus 50% workforce. I mean, we didn't really need it, but we are getting the 60% boost from the uh, local department as well. So after that item, we are using the fine decorator. This is a 30% boost, but it's giving us chocolate at a rate of 1 over 5. Now... You might think, why am I not using a Ferras? It gets more grapes, but we're going to talk about the chocolate in a minute. Marie Antoine Patissier Royale. This gives a plus 50% boost, and this is the one that gives us the grapes. Now, it's only a, at a rate of 1 over 6, but it produces chocolate at a rate of 1 over 5. So once these are down, once they're electrified, all you need is grain. The only way I could deal with that... Well, not the only way I could deal with that. I had to separate... The incoming grain and the outgoing bread. You can see the outgoing bread is being done by airships. You need to keep the bread off this island so yet where warehouse is empty so the bread can be made, so the grapes can be made, so the chocolate can be made, which we're going to go over in a bit. So I've got four or five airships delivering the... Uh, getting rid of the bread, you can see. I've got two trade routes with five airships on each. Now, I am actually using the bread on these two islands to trade for the grain. You can see, medium three and medium two. If we go to medium three, click on the Docklands, go to our export import. I'm using the bread to trade for the grain. So not only are we getting rid of it, it's being used to trade for the grain, which is then coming back across the island. So it's free. I'm only having to use one trade slot. That's the only thing it's costing me. We're using the free bread, which we would have dumped anyway, to trade for the grain and then send it back. Same goes for this island, medium two. The bread being traded for the grain, and then sent it back over. Now, these have an order to dump the bread when the storage on these islands gets full. 
Obviously, the last thing you want is the bread to back up because then it's going to going to cause hassle everywhere else. It's, we're not going to be producing the grain that we need. We're not going to be producing the ch chocolate which we are using elsewhere. You can see this trade route: five airships constantly going with a set order to discard cargo. So when this island gets filled up, the bread is going to get dumped, which keeps everything flowing. The grain that is then coming from these and all the other medium islands is coming back to the Cognac Island via ship so that they can parallel load with airship. the airships. If you didn't know this, the airships and a boat can load at the same dock at the same time. You can see this airship is loading there, Hold this the ship is loading there. Chocolate. Grain. I've got a lot of tra traffic on this island. Sometimes we are stalling ever Cargo so slightly. Stations. As you can imagine, I've got. 600 tons of cherry wood coming in a minute 900 tons of grain um, grapes from everywhere sugar from the new world and every island has got a ship coming here to pick up the cognac so we get a lot of heavy traffic over here but it is just about keeping up I just have a thought have I got yes. I wasn't too sure whether I'd uh, if you don't know you can buy this item from Kahina this one increases loading speed by plus 30 percent so whatever loading speed your harbors are at that one item in the harbor master's office increases it by 30 percent so we can get these advanced piers to 35.2 tons a minute the main harbor is at 44. so yeah producing 50 tons more grapes than we were originally we are also producing 364 tons of chocolate a minute now, just to put that in perspective, this at the minute is the biggest island I've got population wise. We are at. I've got no champagne, so it's sunk right down for some reason. I will check that in a bit. This is supposed to be about 550 tons a minute. But if you have a look, we need 140 tons of chocolate. I think this one was on 150 tons of chocolate when they were all supplied. So the amount of chocolate we're producing here was an awful lot it enabled me to free up a lot of trading slots on the islands that i've used it on the islands that i did use it on was i've used it two medium islands in the old world i've used it on medium three and medium one i'm using it on arty farty which is the one in the cape producing me all of my toys and stuff so this is getting the chocolate for free see in the export office we're not trading for any chocolate it's coming from the old world and i've still got about 90 tons left now that will be sent to crown falls when we get there uh, to supply the chocolate to them so great wise globally we are producing 20 tons a minute more than what we need now I don't think we're ever going to get to 9 million investors so I'm, I'm thinking we're going to need about 600 tons of grapes if my calculations are correct so bear with me this is all changing the progress of other things around about the place so if we have 50 tons of grapes in the green if we go to the new world I've got this island here bananas 4 making plantains for grapes this is making me just over 50 tons of grapes so my plan is when we get down to the nitty gritty and we know exactly how many grapes we need because we've laid all the houses out we know pretty much what the population is going to be i've got this island spare so i'm going to delete this i'm going to use this then for ethanol bear with me we're making 600 tons of ethanol a minute here at the minute globally we need 930 so i'm 130 tons I am, well, we're making 610, so I'm 320 tons short. Yeah, we're making some on Crown Falls, so I'm hoping. This is quite a big island. This is easily half the size. I should easily be able to make 300 tons of ethanol on this island. So all of the ethanol then is being made in the new world. I'm not having to use any space in the old world whatsoever for it. That means Crown Falls. This is going to look a little bit different when you came last time. I started blueprinting out the houses to go in between shopping arcades. All of the resin production is now gone off here. The plan is to do away with all Not of the schnapps production. Master. So this schnapps production 
Fish snaps production. I believe there's some right down here. I may leave this a little bit because it's not affecting anything. And also the snaps production that is on this island here. This can all go. That means we can have more houses, more population, which is ultimately the end goal. This small bit of great production will stay. Electricity is not reaching up here. I don't really want to put any more electric power plants around. You can see the coverage that I've got. I can find that the electric power plant are very well hidden. Yeah. Alright, this is the coverage we've got. So, the electricity doesn't run up here. It barely touches up here. So, I'm going to leave these grapes here. It's making me a tiny, tiny amount. I believe it's like 40 tons a minute. Yeah. But it's all adding up to the amount. So, I'm going to do away with the Schnapps distilleries. This tiny little bit here. Penny farthing production is going to stay. These motors are going to stay. The elevators they're staying citrus we've got a minor problem with but the ships will be in a minute so this section is pretty much as is the elevators whatever's left of them that i'm not using i'm only using a fraction of these at the minute i believe i'm making 200 and 150 tons a minute 270 tons a minute these are going to be used to trade for the goods that the investors need on this island because all of the penny farthings are being used, being shipped around elsewhere at the minute. All of the advanced weapons are being used. The motors are then being used to make the elevators. So yeah, that's the plan for Crown Falls. The production everywhere else is done. I'm going to show you... Uh yeah, I didn't really want to show you too much. But we are going to have a flick around. These are the islands in the cake. You're missing celluloid, but there will be a ship here in a minute for that. Hold the crane. So we were having a slight problem with ethanol over here. That's why the celluloid was not being produced, but... It's the supply chains for the corn and the wood. But we've just sorted that out, so next thing to do what I'm gonna do later today is come over here delete this island set up more ethanol production yeah get things going okay for now that is it I am gonna do uh, when I get to before I work on Crown Falls when the new old world is done I'm gonna give you an overview of that because I've only got three more islands to finish over there when that's done, I'm going to show you the whole old world. And then the last push, like building up Crown Falls and the island that I've got left for the scholars. Which is this one. This at the minute has got clip resin in it and it's the scholars for my research. When this is gone, this will be worked up. So when the new, when the old world is done and we are building up Crown Falls and this island, I'm going to record all of it in our chunks just to show you it all so we can finish off the save together and go out on a high but yeah for now that's it that is grapes from bakeries huge pain trading for a million tons of grain shipping it all around is a right nightmare but once you get it set up it is well well worth it the chocolate that you produce frees up trading slots which then enables you to trade for more goods more grain and it it's a cycle that keeps going on so you could indefinitely keep building these bakeries to produce the grapes if i wanted to do it all in the old world it wouldn't be too much of a problem it just take up a lot more space than what we intended it to so yeah for now that is it please subscribe if you haven't already give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this stay tuned for the next one thanks